1973 Grand National is our first in colour. In a top-class field, two horses shared top weight of 12 stone. Lescargo had twice won the Cheltenham Gold Cup, while Crisp had come from Australia to be trained by Fred Winter and had shown himself a brilliant chaser over distances considerably shorter than the National. Crisp started 9-1 to joint favourite along with Red Rum, who was in the care of Ginger McCain, whose yard was tucked away behind his car showroom in nearby Southport and whose principal gallop was up the beach. Red Rum was the scrapper who had fought his way up, but Crisp was the class act and had to carry 23 pounds more weight than his main market rival. Richard Pittman rode Crisp, while Brown Fletcher, who had won the National on Red Alligator five years earlier, was aboard Red Rum. And Red Rum and Crisp co-favorites at nine to one as the white flag is raised. They're being called in and Rough Silk has unseated his rider. Rough Silk has unseated his rider. Tim Norman. Tim. For years, doubts about the future of entry racecourse and whether it might be sold to property developers had hung over the great race and national after national was expected to be the last ever. The gloom mongers were still haunting entry but if the 1973 running really was to be the last ever Grand National, what a way to go out. And uh, this looks a possibility now. And they're away. They're off. And Rouge Autumn starts fast on the inside with Sonny Laird. And uh, Go Continental moving up on the outside with Beggar's Way. Then comes Black Secret with General Simons on his outside and Richelieu and Glen Kiln. And it's Rouge Autumn leading them. Crisp has gone right up there with Sonny Laird on the inside. Then comes Hurricane Rock. Then Mildor over on the far side with Endless Folly and Beggar's Way and Black Secret. And with Rouge Autumn disputing it, they come to the first and we join John Hanmer. Black Secret, one of the leaders along with General Simons, they're at the first now, and Black Secret over in the lead. There's a fuller Richelieu has gone at the first, and as they go towards the second, Grace Sombrero on the outside along with Asheville, then Glen Kiln, then comes Black Secret, General Simons, then Highland Seal, as they jump the second, no falls at the second that I can see, and as they go to the third, Grace Sombrero on the outside from Asheville, Black Secret, Crisp, General Simons, over the ditch, and Grace Sombrero over first. There's a faller at that one. Asheville fell at that. And going to the fourth, Grey Sombrero in the lead and over to Julian Wilson. And spread right across the course with Grey Sombrero the leader over that one from Endless Folly in the centre. Black Secret towards the outside. Highland Seal just scrambled over that one. Crisp is right up there on the inside as they race down towards the fifth. Grey Sombrero right on the wide outside. He leads over it from on the inside. Crisp, then Rouge Autumn and Mill Door on the inside. Behind this comes Hurricane Rock and Sunny Lad, but as they race down towards Beaches, it's the Grey, Grey Sombrero, racing wide of the field, the clear leader from Crisp in second, Black Secret third, and at Beaches, Grey Sombrero over and just clears it from Crisp in second, Black Secret third, Endless Folly four, Sunny Lad five, Rouge Autumn is six, and Beggar's Way is a faller at Beaches. And uh, just about all the others have gone over it as they go over the next, with Crisp now the leader from Grey Sombrero, then Black Secret and Endless Folly, Sunny Loud and Rouge Autumn, then Hurricane Rock, then Great Noise towards the outside and Tarquin Bid as they come towards the canal turn. And Swan Shot balked and, uh, at the last one, and Mr. Vimy has refused as they jump the canal turn. Nerio has been pulled up and Crisp is the leader from Grey Sombrero as they jump Valentine's. Crisp over Valentine's from Grey Sombrero, Black Secret, Endless Folly, Sunny La, then Rouge Autumn, then Hurricane Rock on the inside of Great Noise, Mill Door and Tarquin Bid, then after that comes Spanish Steps, Highland Seal has been pulled up as they jump the next. Crisp over it from Grey Sombrero, Black Secret, Endless Folly, Sunny Lad, Rouge Autumn, Great Noise, Hurricane Rock, Mill Door, Darkwin Bed as we rejoin John Hanmer. Crisp in the lead from Grey Sombrero, Endless Folly, Black Secret, Great Noise. Then comes Rouge Autumn, Sunny Lad. Behind Sunny Lad is Hurricane Rock. And as they go towards the next fence, it's Crisp, the clear leader from Grey Sombrero, Endless Folly, Black Secret. Then comes Great Noise. Behind Great Noise is Sunny Lad, then Rouge Autumn, then comes Tarquin Bid, behind Tarquin Bid Red Rum, then Spanish Steps, then Hurricane Rock and Glen Kiln. As they, and as they go across the Melling Road, it's Crisp and a clear lead from Grey Sombrero and Endless following over to Peter O'Sullivan. 
And it's Crip still well clear from Grey Sombrero, then comes Endless Folly, then Black Secret, then Tarquin Bed, then Rouge Autumn, then Sunny Lad, then Red Rum just in behind the leaders, Glen Kiln also, then Spanish Steps, then Hurricane Rock, and behind them come Proud Tarquin, behind Proud Tarquin is Proud Percy, then comes Les Gargo, behind Les Gargo is Go Continental, and then Asprey, and behind Asprey is Princess Camilla, and then Petruchio's son, behind Petruchio's son, and making good progress is General Simons, and coming to the next, and it's crisp, clear. Crisp is over from Grey Sombrero jumps it second, Endless Folly jumps it third, then Great Noise four, five is Black Secret, six is Rouge Autumn, seven Spanish Steps and eight Tarquin Bid and nine Red Rum and ten on the inside is Sunny Lad as they come to the next. Crisp over in the lead and clear of Grey Sombrero, Endless Folly, Black Secret, Rouge Autumn, Tarquin Bid, Great Noise, Sunny Lad, behind Sunny Lad is Hurricane Rock and Proud Tarquin, Red Rum well there and then comes Glen Kiln and coming to the chair now, this is one of the biggest and Crisp is here. Brick jumps it beautifully in the lead. He just pecked a little bit but got away with it. Grace Umbrero was very near. He's gone. Grace Umbrero was gone at that one. Grace Umbrero faller. Glenn Kiln's a faller. Proud Percy's a faller at that one also. And as they jump the water, Crisp is a long way clear of Endless Folly. And Endless Folly jumps in second. Then comes Red Rum. Behind Red Rum is Rouge Autumn. Then Sunny Lad. Can Harris is a faller. Then comes Great Noise. Behind Great Noise is Spanish Steps and Black Secret and Hurricane Rock. Then Tarquin. Bid and Proud Tarquin and then Princess Camilla and Petruchio Sar and then General Simons and as they run down to the Melling Road Crisp is a long way clear of the remainder headed at the moment by Endless Folly, Rouge Autumn, Red Rum, then Sunny Land and Great Noise and Spanish Steps and Tarquin Bid, Proud Tarquin, then comes Black Secret, then Princess Camilla and Hurricane Rock and as they come to the next it's back to John Hanmer. And Crisp just jumping the 17th, he's over jumped it beautifully a long way clear off at Rouge Autumn, Red Rum, Spanish Steps, Endless Folly still there. Then comes Great Noise and Black Secret, behind Black Secret, Hurricane Rock. Meanwhile, Crisp at the 18th and over safely, well clear of Rouge Autumn. Then comes Red Rum, Tarquin Bid, Spanish Steps, Endless Folly, Great Noise, Black Secret, Hurricane Rock. Meanwhile, Crisp at the ditch, the 19th. He stood right back, he jumped it well, and he's right out in front still of Red Rum second. Rouge Autumn is third, Spanish Steps fourth, Tarquin Bid is fifth, Great Noise is sixth, then Endless Folly and Black Secret, and over to Julian Wilson. And Richard Pittman over that one on Crispin. What a fantastic ride he's having. I can't remember a horse so far ahead in the Grand National at this stage. Jumping that second was Red Rum. Then Spanish Steps on the outside of Rouge Autumn. Great noise made a mistake there. But coming to the next, and Crisp is over that one. Safely over the one before Beaches from Red Rum. Then Spanish Steps and Tarquin Bid. Rouge Autumn and Hurricane Rock. Then Black Secret and Great Noise. And Tarquin Bid's gone at that one as Crisp comes on his own to Beaches Brook for the second time. Crisp, the top weight, Richard Pittman over it in tremendous style and he's about 20 lengths clear from Red Rum in second place behind this comes Spanish Steps then Hurricane Rock and Rouge Autumn they're over Beaches now then Black Secret over then Great Noise and Crisp is over the 23rd already and racing down to the canal turn as Red Rum jumps the 23rd in second place then Spanish Steps Hurricane Rock Rouge Autumn then Black Secret Great Noise on the outside of Proud Tarquin as Crisp jumps the canal turn and he's over it clear he's still 20 lengths clear from Red Rum in second. Spanish Steps is third. Hurricane Rock four. Rouge Autumn is five. Then Proud Tarquin on the inside of his stable mate. Black Secret. Behind this comes Great Noise and Princess Camilla. Then the Puka and Endless Folly as Crisp jumps clear at Ballantyne's. Crisp is still a long, long way ahead from Red Rum second and Crisp over that one, the one after Valentine's from Red Rum in second place. Spanish Steps is third, Hurricane Rock four, Rouge Autumn is five, Proud Tarquin is six, Black Secret is seven, Great Noise is eight, Princess Camilla nine, then the Puka and Lescaga who's still there, Endless Folly, Prophecy and Petruchio's son who are clear as we rejoin John Hammer. Chris has got three to jump, he's well clear of Red Rum, he's made a bit of ground, Spanish Steps is third, Hurricane Rock is fourth. Over the third from home, Crisp over safely, Red Ram in second place, then Spanish Steps, Hurricane Rock just passing Spanish Steps. Th then comes Rouge Autumn fifth and there a long way clear of Proud Tarpin, Black Secret and Lascargo. And as they go across the Milling Road with two to jump, it's Crisp with Red Ram in second place making ground, but a very long gap after that to Hurricane Rock, Spanish Steps and Rouge Autumn and back to Pedro Sullivan. And he's conceding one stone nine to his pursuer, Crisp. It's Crisp in the lead from Red Rum, but Red Rum still making ground on him. Brown Fletcher on Red Rum. Chase
chasing Dick Pickman on Crisp. Crisp still well clear with two fences left to jump in the 1973 National. And this great Australian chaser, Crisp, with 12 stone on his back and 10 stone five on the back of Red Rum, who's chasing him. And they look to have it absolutely to themselves. At the second last, and Crisp is over and clear of Red Rum, who's just jumping it. A long way back in third are Spanish Steps and Hurricane Rock and Rouge Autumn. And then Lascargo, but coming to the final fence in the National now. And it's Crisp still going in great style with 12 stone on his back. He jumps it well. Red Rum is about 15 lengths behind him as he jumps it. And Dick Pittman coming to the elbow now in the National. He's got 250 yards to run. And Chris just wandering a little off the two line now. He's beginning to lose concentration. He's been out there on his own for so long. And Red Rum is making ground on him still as they come to the line. It's a hunt for a longer run now. 200 yards now for Chris, but Red Rum still closing on him. And Chris is getting very tired. And Red Rum is pounding after him. Red Rum is the one that's finishing the strongest. He's going to get up. Red Rum is going to win the national. And at the line, Red Rum has just snatched it from Crispin. Red Rum is the winner. And Crisp is second. Les Gargo's just coming up now to be third. It's going to be a very near thing for fourth with Spanish steps. Just Red